Hi, and welcome to a new video we're putting out. I had a question come up recently about using SketchUp in ARCHICAD. Uh, this is actually getting more and more common as people are looking for better solutions um, for, ex for external content or uh, any kind of modeling content for furniture and pieces like that. Uh, one of the areas that I see a lot is with landscape parts uh, where ARCHICAD just kind of falls short on giving us good out-of-the-box solutions. So what I've done is I've downloaded um, a couple of landscape objects here and I'm going to show you how simple it is to bring those into ARCHICAD, uh, manage and manipulate those, and make those available to all of your project files. So the first thing I want to do is just drag and drop this SketchUp 16 file into my floor plan view. Um, it takes a second or two and when I click in here then I'll see that it's going to place and I'm going to say continue there uh, I think that that's just saying that it's on a different story that's fine um, but you can see here this uh, the plan symbol is not great um, but what I really want to see is what this looks like in 3D so let's take a look and this is why I love using SketchUp parts um, because I get this great tree it looks good in my 3D window it looks good in BIMX it looks good in my renderings um, if I go into um, my poly count tool here oh, wrong tool. let's go windows palettes and poly count uh, I can see right away that I've got this tree at 12,000 polygons, which is actually pretty amazing for the kind of detail I get out of this object. Um, the thing that I don't like is this floor plan view. So if I go up to my file menu, libraries and objects, and say open object, um, I can develop a really simple and quick floor plan symbol for this, and it could just be even a circle is good enough. It takes a minute or two to load this object. Um, but what I want to do is uh, take a look at my 3D script because I want these mole commands. That's going to allow me to scale the floor plan view properly. If I look at my 2D view, I have all these lines um, that are obviously not showing a full symbol. Um, so I'm going to take these and uh, delete that and paste that back into here. Now this number should have matched what was in here at the top. Um, so you could just as easily grab this and uh, this and keep that in there. Um, and then all I'm going to do is add a line in here that says circle 2, uh, 0, comma 0, and that's my origin. That's the center point of the circle. And then I give it a radius of A divided by 2. Uh, so it's going to size the dimension of that circle based on the width of this A dimension. Uh, if I make B smaller because I have that mole command, it is going to shrink that down. Um, so I can resize that um, and even make it 10 by 10. Uh, so that's um, really quickly adding that into ARCHICAD. Now if I want to make this object available for other projects, um, Again, looking at it here, it looks great. Uh, maybe I might be tempted to just come into my library manager and take a look at my embedded library and say, well, here's that tree object. Uh, let's go and save that back out into, you know, I'm just going to put in my downloads here so it's in the same spot. And I'm just going to call it something a little simpler. Special symbols come out of SketchUp warehouse all the time. You want to try and eliminate those, especially if you're working on PC or with PC users. Um, so now I've saved that out. Let's go ahead and go into a different file here and go into the library manager. And let's, uh, in the embedded library, let's go ahead and just load in from the downloads. Um, what do we call that? Obviously, I'm not well organized. Uh, let's pull up a finder here. So, angle tree. There we go. So, we can load that guy right into here. Go ahead and say OK. And now, when I go to place that object from my embedded library, we'll see what happens. 
so I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And you can see I get my 2D symbol that I scripted there. Uh, but what happens when I look at this in 3D, I get all of these missing surfaces. Uh, and this happens because uh, when I look at this object, again, I'm going to open up the object settings. And we'll take a look at what's going on there once this loads. Uh, if we look at the 3D script, um, we're going to start to see uh, a bunch of stuff in parentheses, or sorry, in quotations. Um, and those are calling to surface images, set material uh, 132, set material 132. So there's images that are calling to JPEGs um, to those surface image names. If those are missing, we're not going to have access to that. So here's 132.1, that's a different material. Uh, I could easily uh, replace this with a new parameter that allows me to adjust what that surface is. Um, but what I lose, if I come back into here, is I lose those actual mapped and patterned surfaces and all of that texture mapping that comes straight out of SketchUp on, on a well-built SketchUp object. So what I really need to do is come into my library manager and track down not just this object um, but also the textures that were involved in that object. Um, so that's all of these guys right here. That's surface images. Um, so what I can do is if I come into the main folder here, I'm going to create a new folder and we're going to call this a kneeling chair and again take these surface images and drop into there and then in my general I can come in here and drop that in here. So now I have this whole folder I can load this or sorry save this to my desktop um, or wherever we're going to save it it's just a temporary place um, and now when I come back into this file uh, what I want to do is go into my library manager and I'm going to delete this object and I'm going to load that whole uh, folder in here. Let's come back into here and add it as a linked library. You could also add it to one of your uh, project libraries or standard company libraries um, but let's just track down that folder um, so once that's loaded, uh, we're going to see it missing here. It's got a different name. Oh, it picked up the script. So it did rename it here uh, to the original name, but it also picked up that there are those image f uh, files related to this script now. Um, so that's really the basics of sharing a SketchUp-based object uh, between multiple files, uh, adding them to your project library or to multiple embedded libraries. I hope this was helpful, and uh, I'll try and make another one of these soon.